Hey, what's going on? Aaron Chen here. Hope you're doing well. If you're watching my video right now, you're probably doing some research on YouTube about how to make money with affiliate marketing for beginners, okay? So you might be a beginner, you might be getting started. I'm gonna explain to you step by step in five exact steps how you can actually get started with affiliate marketing, how you can really start to make money from it. Um, if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, I'm always releasing content that will teach you how to build a more profitable online business. So consider subscribing by just clicking the red button below, okay? Um, at any time, you can just just click the link in the description box and get access to my six-figure affiliate marketing strategies. You don't necessarily have to wait till the end of the video, completely up to you, okay? But there are five points, I've got my notes right here, so if you see me looking down, that's kind of why. This is an important topic, I wanted to make sure I got this out to you properly. Um, so there's five big things on how to actually get started with affiliate marketing, how do you really make money from it, and take this from someone who's been in the affiliate marketing industry for 10 years now, okay? Um, I was lucky enough to be able to quit my corporate job in April 2019. It took me 10 years to get here. First eight years, I was super confused about affiliate marketing. I had no idea what I was doing. And, and that's uh, you know point number one, okay? Most affiliate marketers, I would say 95% of affiliate marketers out there are broke, all right? I review, I, I sorry, I um, survey my list. Um, I've got you know almost 20,000 people on my list right now. And 95% of them earn less than $1,000, okay? So about 85% of them earn less than $100, which means that the majority of the market is broke. They have no idea what they're doing. They're trying to learn affiliate marketing, but they're really confused and they're not making any money, okay? And I'll explain to you why in a second. So that's point number one. Just understand that this is a great industry and you can do tremendous things and you can go full-time if you understand how to do it and you're willing to invest in your skills, but understand that most people don't figure this out for the reasons that I'm gonna to reveal to you in a second, okay? And this is important for you, especially if you're a beginner, okay? To understand these reasons why. So the second thing that you wanna do in order to really get started successfully is um, you have to pick an industry, okay? There are a lot of people that come into affiliate marketing and they don't really know what to sell. They're confused, they're like, okay, I'm here now, but what do I actually sell in the online world? Well, understand that affiliate marketing, all it means is you're selling other people's products on the internet. That's all it is, okay? It can be a physical product or it can be a digital product, but I would say that the best and easiest way to get started is to sell digital products because it's less confusing, it's much more um, direct and linear, okay? Um, you know, selling physical products is, it can be quite complex, like um, drop shipping and, you know, doing eBay stuff. You know, selling Amazon products, it's a lot more complex. Um, digital products is easy, you sell it, the price points are higher, the commission rates are higher, and you just send someone their logins and they just download that information from a membership site. It's very simple, okay? But you have to pick an industry. Okay, so you have to think about what is that industry that you resonate most with? You know, is it dog training? Is it teaching someone how to have a better golf swing? Is it teaching people how to market on the internet? Is it teaching people all about lead generation? You know, there's so many different things that you, that you can do. Is it teaching someone how to play the guitar? Is it showing someone how to pick up girls on the street? You know, there, there's so many different ways. Teaching people how to fall in love, teaching someone how to lose weight, the weight loss industry, teaching guys how to get six packs or girls how to get six, six pack abs, right? So you have to decide on the industry. That's point number two. Too, okay a lot of people come into affiliate marketing and they have no clue what they want to do and so they get confused because they don't understand that the first thing that you need to do is you have to decide what you want to sell all right and a lot of people are like well can't I sell multiple things no you can't okay you can send you can sell multiple things within the same niche but you can't sell weight loss products and golf swing products and affiliate marketing products and lead generation products, right? It doesn't make sense. You, you have to do one thing, one industry, so you build out all of your online assets in that one industry. Does that make sense, right? So yes, you can do multiple industries, but you can't do them at the same time. You have to get successful at one first, and then once you've done that, if you wanna, let's say you do affiliate marketing today, and then to, you know when, you're, when you've built out a very successful affiliate marketing business uh, here, and then you wanna do the weight loss, and you build a very successful weight loss business here, and then you know, you're done with that, and you wanna do golf, and you build out a very successful golf business here, you can do it that way. But to mix different products within the same sales funnel or the same business, you can't do that because people will get confused, okay? Your message to market match 
has to match. It has to make sense, right? Otherwise, people get confused. So if you're driving leads for um, you know, uh, golf products, but you get random people who are in the weight loss industry or they're looking to you know, learn um, how to get six-pack abs or whatever it is, um, they're not, not going to want to buy um, those products that you're trying to market, if that makes sense, right? So message to market match, very, very important. The third thing about getting started as a beginner in affiliate marketing is you must be willing to learn about marketing. Okay, understand that affiliate marketing is an online skill, all right? It's a new skill that you have never ever learned about before, all right? Uh, when I first got started in 2009, I didn't even know that I wanted to do affiliate marketing. Honestly, I had, I had no idea what I was doing, uh, to, to, be, to be fair. I came online, I was trying to build my uh, MLM business on the internet. I saw this YouTuber making lots of videos and I thought to myself, oh, I can make YouTube videos as well. And you know, if I can make enough YouTube videos, I, I guess that you know, people are gonna find my stuff and I'm gonna be really, really successful. Little did I know that that is just the tip of the iceberg, okay? This whole marketing industry is very deep, okay? There's a lot of stuff that you need to learn. You, there, there's new skills that you have to pick up. Um, you don't necessarily have to do video per se, okay? It's just one of the many, many strategies that you can implement if you wanna do affiliate marketing, okay? You see a lot of people doing video, but no, you don't necessarily have to do video. Just understand that, right? That's just one way of doing it. I mean, you've, you've probably heard the expression, there's a thousand ways to skin a cat, right? Um, it's the same thing as the online world. There's a thousand ways to do this. There's not one particular right way. But understand that you have to be willing to learn how to become a great marketer. If you're not willing to do that, you're never gonna do well in affiliate marketing, okay? A lot of people come on and they think that it's very basic and it's very simple and they can just hide behind their computer. It's not that kind of business, okay? It can be a tremendous business, but you have to be willing to learn how to market. And when I say market, there's a few different things. There's your front end marketing. So you have to learn how to get people, uh, new people to see, see your business, right? So there are many, many different ways you can do that. Banner advertising, pay-per-click marketing, videos, um, solo ads, email marketing, uh, display networks, Google AdWords, Bing, um, social media, any way that you can get people to see your stuff, that's the front end of marketing. But there's also the back end, okay? There's the stuff that a lot of people don't see. So once people get onto your email list, they come into your universe, I call that, you know, they come into your universe, your world, that's really when the marketing begins, okay? Just because someone gets on your email list doesn't mean anything. There are a lot of people that are on, 30, 40, 50 marketers email lists and they're getting emails from these people every single day. That's why the competition is so high and everybody looks the same. So if you're doing what everybody else is doing and you're just getting them on your email list and you're promoting random crap to them, they're not gonna buy and that's why so many people are, if you remember the first point, are broke because they don't understand real marketing. Okay, so you must understand front end marketing and back end marketing. It's two different things, okay? So that's number three. Number four, you can't hide behind your computer, okay? So a lot of people think that, okay, it's affiliate marketing, I'm gonna come on here and I'm just going to send emails and learn to generate some leads uh, via solo ads or yeah, maybe I'll, I'll set up a, a YouTube ad, uh, sorry, a, a Google AdWords account, start driving some AdWords clicks or whatever and I'm gonna be great, right? You're never gonna be successful that way and that's why the failure rate in affiliate marketing is 95% because people come in with the wrong mentality. They think that they can hide behind their keyboard. They're like, oh, I'm just gonna hide behind the keyboard. I'm never gonna show my face. I'm just gonna drive ads to a sales page and I'm gonna make lots of money. That's what people teach and that's why so many people stay broke in affiliate marketing because that formula right there, getting traffic or getting new eyeballs, new potential customers to see a sales page is the way that everyone is going broke, okay? And the reason why that is, is because everybody's been doing that since affiliate marketing started 15 years ago. Since I've been doing affiliate marketing, which is only 10 years ago, right? That's what people have been doing and that's what a lot of people are teaching online. Learn to drive traffic, learn to get leads to see a sales page. But everybody and their pet goldfish has, has seen that on the internet, do you know what I mean? So when you're on, when you're on Instagram, when, you, when you're on YouTube, when you're on Facebook, you know, you see all those ads, right? That's all people are doing. They're driving ads to a sales page. So everyone has seen that. They're sick and tired of seeing that. So why should they buy from your sales page instead of somebody else's sales page, right? Well, there's no real difference. It's still a sales page. Now, people 
hate to be sold to, but they love to buy. Okay, have you heard that before? People love to buy, but they hate to be sold to. So if they see a sales page, they know that you're trying to sell them, which is why they don't buy. Okay, and that's what I call the greasy salesman approach. All you're doing is just, you're just selling people. It's, it's like standing at the corner of, uh, of the street and you've got a whole bunch of flyers and you're just handing out flyers. Well, people are gonna see those flyers if people even take the flyer from you. Most people don't even take the flyer from you anymore because they know that it's an ad, right? But if somebody does take that flyer from you, you know what they're gonna do? They're gonna look at it for like two seconds they're gonna, and they're gonna throw it in the first trash can that they see. That's what happens in real life, right? And that's what's happening on the internet. That's why most affiliate marketers are broke because they don't understand that. They're like that person sitting at the corner of the street handing out flyers. It doesn't work, okay? So you need to, um, you, have, you have to learn real marketing. You can't hide behind your computer. You have to be willing to put yourself out there. You have to be willing to do a bit of video. You have to be willing to build out sales funnels. You have to be willing to learn new skills. You, you might have to be willing to do may, maybe webinars. You don't have to do it initially, but eventually, you know, these are the skills that you have to learn if you want to be really, really successful. And then point number five, just to wrap this all up, is you have to be willing to invest in yourself Okay, you have to be willing to invest in new skills. You have to be willing to go out there and invest in training. Okay, when I say invest, I mean take out your wallet, buy the training, learn it, learn new skills, and get better at it. Okay, that's the only way you're really gonna be able to learn how to really make money in affiliate marketing. If you're on YouTube right now and you're spending hours every single night scouring the whole of YouTube trying to find a full length course that will teach you from start to finish how to become a successful affiliate marketer, I'm sorry, but there's, it doesn't exist, okay? There are a lot of YouTube videos on affiliate marketing, but there is nobody out there that will give you all of their stuff 100% for free, okay? You're gonna learn a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here, a little bit there, but in order to tie all this together, it's very hard, it's really confusing. Okay, believe me, I've tried, right? I've been online for 10 years and you know, I've been on YouTube for, for forever, right? Um, and so you're not gonna be able to find that information. Now you can find good stuff, okay, for sure. All right, and I try to put out my best stuff out there. But, but even for me, I'm not gonna sit there and create a two or five hour video giving all my best stuff. Why would I do that? Why would any internet marketer do that, right? So having said that, what you need to do is you have to go out there and you have to be willing to invest your money into a program that will teach you how to do this properly, essentially, right? Now you can learn little bits here and there for free on YouTube and Facebook, but if you're serious, right, if you're really serious and you don't know, uh, you know about anything, anything about anything, you have to invest in it. it it's kind of like this, right? If you wanted to learn to play tennis, what would you do? You would hire a coach, right? If you wanted to learn to play golf, what would you do? You'd, you'd go to the driving range, you'd, you'd hire the local pro, and you'd get a package of 10 or 20 uh, one-hour sessions, right, to teach you how to play golf. That's the only way, all right? Unless you have a friend that will teach you how to do it. But even then, you would you know, work with a friend and then you would probably hire a coach. Same thing, right? That's why personal trainers in the gym exist because most people don't understand anything about working out properly and building their bodies properly, right? That's why you hire personal trainers. Online business, affiliate marketing is exactly the same thing. This is, the, this is a technical sport, okay? This is a technical business. You have to be willing to invest to get somebody to train you on how to do this properly. I hope that makes sense. So this is the five. This is the big five, right? If you really wanna learn how to be successful, make money through affiliate marketing, especially if you're a beginner, if you're just getting started, these are the five things that you must think about if, you, if you're really serious. If you're, if you're just you know, fooling around and you're not really serious, you just wanna do this as a hobby, then I mean, do whatever you want. But if you're serious and you wanna do this full time, this business can potentially change your life. It, I, I pretty much tripled my old corporate income. I've been doing this full time now since April uh, 2019. It took me a while to get here because of these five things that um, I didn't know that I had to do. Okay, but when you understand that, then it gets really easy because then you focus on these things, you get really good at them, um, and then you just keep chipping forward, getting new skills, and then learning how to do it properly, okay? But listen, I wanna help you out, okay? Uh, but before that, actually, let me know in the comments below, did you get some value from this video today, all right? Th do you understand now that these are the five things that you really need to, to, to do inside of your uh, business if you wanna be successful? Um, if you did get some value from this video today, would appreciate some thumbs ups, okay? And listen, I do wanna show you how to do this properly, all right? So if you want to get more hands-on stuff, so um, what is the strategy? 
what is the front end marketing? What is the back end marketing? How do you learn that kind of stuff, right? How do you learn about traffic? How do you learn about conversions? How do you get someone to actually buy your products? I would love to teach you all that. So all you need to do to get a deeper understanding of that is to click the link right below in the, in the description section. There's a little link right there. Once you get to my website, enter your best email address, and I'm gonna send you a video straight away that will show you in seven steps how to lay this all out properly um, and how to actually get started to understand um, the strategy that will actually get you into profit with affiliate marketing if that's what you wanna do, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video today. My name is Aaron Chen. I will see you on another video. Take care.